the way the fuel gets delivered to all of this is that it's either going to be delivered via carburetor or it's going to be delivered via fuel injection. Carburetors use kind of gravity to feed it. It's called the Venturi effect. And what that is, is that you have bowls located on the carburetor that are full of fuel and you have jets that will meter the uh, amount of fuel that goes into the engine. So when the intake stroke sucks that piston down, that vacuum will suck fuel out of the bowls through the jets and into the combustion chamber. That is a very, very basic way of explaining it, but it's generally how a carburetor works. There's a whole bunch of science and pretty much artistry on how you tune a carburetor. If you don't know how to do it, find an old grumpy guy that talks about the good old days and his GTO, and he probably knows how to tune a carburetor. The other way and the more common way that we see nowadays is fuel injection. Now there is a couple different types of fuel injection. There's the throttle body injection, which is very similar to the way a carburetor works, except that it uses different methods to meter the fuel. And then we've got port injection, which is the most reliable way to control fuel distribution. You're going to spray that down in the intake port versus sucking it through the whole manifold and hoping that the cylinder is distributed evenly. You're going to spray it onto the back of the valve and you're going to get a more controlled combustion cycle. And when I say more controlled, you're going to be able to control the air fuel ratios a little bit better. If you do it right, you can control them in each individual cylinder. Anyways, we're getting a little off topic here, but that's kind of how that works. So